Hello, everybody. We're going to get started in about one or two minutes. Thank you all for joining me today. I ask that we find ourselves in a comfortable seated pose. Any seat that feels good for you, may you find that seat. I am sitting in a cow face. May we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Relaxing our shoulders down away from our ears. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cord is nice and long. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our seated prayer, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum as we gaze down or close our eyes. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Allowing the down gaze and the breath to help us become centered here today. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms above our head in our seated salute. Fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling. Spinal cords are nice and long. Feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, right side. Softly gazing over that right shoulder. Noticing how the seated twist relaxes the spinal cord. Exhale, back to center, seated star. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that left shoulder, feeling a spinal twist. Exhale, back to center, bringing our palms at heart center. As we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice teacher training here today. And in this session, we have... Devin, who's going to practice teacher training with us today. She's going to show us a couple of her techniques and skills. So Devin, I'm going to give the floor to you and let's see what you got. Thank you so much for joining us.
part was just like put me out like <laughs> I was done like I could have just stayed there and be like okay especially once my mind and my body started to vibrate when you was hitting that bowl I mean I, well we're not gonna um close off yet we're we're gonna do a, a quick flow to um work on our lower um legs you know get something going on down the bottom parts of our body and Devin, if you can hang around and give us another hit us with another dose of that gong bath at the end and like another 10 to 15 minutes that'd be great okay we're just going to do a quick stretch here i'm sitting in an easy seat we're going to breathe our palms above our head feeling that stretch our fingertips reach up towards the ceiling feeling our spinal cord get nice and long our back is nice and straight feeling this stretch here nice deep breath in exhale seated twist right side gazing over that right shoulder we are relaxing our spinal cord here. Still in a stretch. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down. Exhale back to center, palms in the air, seated twist, opposite side, gazing over that left shoulder. Eyes are gazed down, still in a stretch. Exhale and back to center as we breathe our palms above our head and our seated salute. Exhale, seated prayer. As we flow to our tabletop position, coming on to our hands and our knees. As we drop our body down to our cow, tummy comes down, chin comes slightly up. Exhale to our cat, our chin comes towards our clavicle. We're going to do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath, feeling the movement in our bodies here, continuing to work on our spinal cord. Three more breaths. Engaging our abdominal muscles, tummies nice and tight. As we find our paws and push our bodies up to our down dog, Gazing back at our feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch nice and deep. Maybe you can pedal your feet, walking your dog, noticing how that feels in the body, ensuring that our tummy muscles are nice and tight, working the core. Two more breaths. Breathe up to up dog. Working our arms, lifting the body up, chin slightly in the air. Exhale back, down dog, feeling the stretch here. As we flow the three-legged dog, right legs in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at that foot, feeling the stretch. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Holding it in. Exhale, three-legged dog. Knee to elbow. Three-legged dog. Knee to elbow, holding it in. Three breaths. Building strength in our arms. Tummy's nice and tight. Two more breaths. Exhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, back down dog. Both legs are flat on the floor. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Breathe up dog, gazing forward, working our arms. Exhale back down dog. As we, fall, as we flow the three-legged dog, left leg's in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, holding it in. Three breaths, building strength. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Maybe we could come down on our forearms coming into a dolphin, dropping our bodies. Giving our arms a little break here. 
Maybe we can walk our feet closer towards our torso, noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air, holding a pose. This pose prepares our mind and our body for headstand. We're gonna hang out here for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, bringing our heart chakra towards the earth. Our eyes are closed. Our minds and bodies are resting. We're going to hang out here in this pose. Six natural breaths. Mm. Three more breaths. As we walk our fingers to the front of the mat, walking our fingers forward, noticing how this feels, feeling a stretch. Maybe we can Sway our body from side to side in our child's pose or puppy pose. Noticing how this feels in our hips. As we exhale up to a spinal wave, we're going to do a couple of spinal waves. Further working our spinal cord. Noticing how this feels in the body. Three more breaths. As we find pause at table and press our bodies back up to a down dog. Gazing forward, coming to a high plank, tummy's nice and tight. We can come down to a low plank if that feels best for you. We're gonna hold this plank, three breaths. As we flow down to a chaturanga or a low plank, hovering over our yoga mat, building strength. Exhale up to cobra. Relaxing our shoulders away from our ears. Breathe up dog. Exhale down dog. As we come to a complete forward fold, allowing our torso to relax over our legs. Eyes are gazed down or closed, noticing how this feels in our body. Maybe we can flow into a rag doll if that feels good for us. Rocking the body from side to side if you choose. Noticing how we can feel this behind our legs. It is a nice stretch. We're going to hang out here. Three more breaths. <sighs> Finding pause if we were rocking. Noticing how we feel as we breathe to a half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward. Exhale back, complete forward fold. <sighs> to half forward fold. As we flow up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, our palms are at our side. As we bring our palms above our heads in our standing salute or extended mountain. Exhale the standing prayer. Bending our knees, coming into a chair pose. We are working our quads. We are working our legs. We can have prayer hands or we can extend our arms in front of us, whatever feels good for you, working our body, building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Chair twist right side. Body is getting nice and warm here. Exhale back to center. Tear twist left side. 
Exhale back to center. Complete forward fold. Coming up to a half forward fold. Flowing back to Tadasana, our mountain pose. To our standing salute. Feeling that stretch as we flow to a standing crescent moon. Right side, feeling that side bend. Exhale back to center. Crescent moon, opposite side. Exhale back to center. Breathing our palms at heart center. Exhaling down to our chair. Palms are at heart center if you choose. Three breaths, working out with thighs. Exhale, complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, down dog. Bringing our right foot to our right hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Noticing how we feel here in this pose as we straighten out that front leg, coming into a pyramid, allowing our torso to relax over that front leg. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes, feeling a stretch. Exhale back forward to our runner's lunge. As we come up to a warrior one or a high lunge, working our lower parts of our bodies here. Two breaths. Exhale to warrior two. Hanging out here. Three breaths. As we flow to reverse warrior, Exhale to extended side angle. Flowing back to our runner's lunge. Exhale back to our pyramid, straightening out their front leg. As we breathe back to down dog. We're going to keep on flowing here, bringing our left foot to our left hand. We are in our runner's lunge, opposite side, noticing how we feel. Hanging out here. As we straighten out that front leg, coming into our pyramid. Nice natural breath. Gazing our eyes down. Flowing back to that runner's lunge. As we breathe up to our high lunge or warrior one. Building strength here in the lower parts of our legs. Two breaths. Exhale, warrior two. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior. Extended side angle. <sighs> Feeling a stretch. Coming forward, coming to that runner's lunge. Exhale, the pyramid, straightening out their front leg. Exhale, down dog, gazing back at our feet, pedaling our feet, walking our dog. As we breathe to up dog, drop into our knees, coming into a child's pose, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow forward to our Sphinx pose, coming onto our forearms, we are relaxing on our tummies. Shoulders are relaxed away from our ears. Noticing how this is slight back bend. Chin slightly up, slightly gazing upwards. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Pushing our bodies up to our cobra. To upward dog. Coming to our table, coming to our hands and our knees. Only for a second as we cross our feet behind us, coming into a seated pose. As we flow onto our backs, just for a second. 
Bringing our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Bringing our knees into our chest, allowing our knees to fall to the left, recline, spinal twist. Gazing over that right shoulder, feeling the spinal twist here. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. Recline, spinal twist, knees fall towards the right. Left arm goes out to the side, gazing over that left shoulder. We're gonna hold this pose, five breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, bringing our knees to our chest. Slowing our bodies into a happy baby, reaching down. Feet comes in the air, hands is connected to the feet. Eyes are gazed down or closed. Allowing our backs and our shoulder blades to melt backwards into the yoga mat. Completely relaxing our minds and our bodies. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall poles. Allowing our legs to fall down, we are coming into our Shavasana. Our legs are side by side. The heels of our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to fall completely to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Our eyes are closed or gaze down. Shoulder blades are melting backwards into the yoga mat. Our mind and our bodies are at peace. As we relax. As we go inward. Seven, you can start your sound bath.
Softly opening our eyes if that feels good for us. As we roll onto our sides, finding ourselves in a fetal position, hanging out here for a couple breaths, noticing how we feel within. If all feels well, May we find ourselves in a comfortable seated pose. Any seat that feels good for you, may you find that position. Tummy's nice and tight. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are relaxed down away from our ears. Our eyes are closed or gaze down. As we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. <sighs> Bringing our palms at heart center. Allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good for us. As we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time for ourselves. For self-care is a necessity. And I thank you for allowing me and Devin to practice with you here today. It was a pleasure and a blessing to be with you. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.